Ladies and gentlemen on the Shred Gaming Silicon video, we have one confirmed piece of information of the R9 300 series, specifically that it's going to be debuting in June the 3rd at Computex, and in the second one we have more uh, information regarding the rebrands, this has not been confirmed by AMD, so in other words, if it's wrong, don't sue me. Moving on, this is also an article by the way, you can check it out in the video's description if you so desire. So, AMD are cordially inviting us to witness Computex 2015, and during this event, AMD executives and special guests will introduce new comprehensive details on AMD's 2015 product lineup. So, most likely, we're going to get final details on what these GPUs are going to uh, have under the hood. Hopefully, we get details such as the number of shader units, the amount of ROPs, you know, does it make you a cup of coffee when you wake out? And when you wake up in the morning, that type of thing would be nice. I don't necessarily think we're going to get a full, you know, benchmarks and all of that stuff. But hopefully we at least get enough to understand whether all of the rumours concerning the shader count, concerning the, you know, clock speeds and all of that stuff are accurate. Moving on, there have been some uh, reports on the 300 series rebrands, or rather 200 series rebrands. In other words, Hawaii. Now, these rumours have not been confirmed by AMD, but they go as follows. The 290X will be rebranded to the 300 series. We don't know what the name of the rebrand is going to be. I'm going to assume throughout this video it's either going to be the 380 or I'm just going to call it the R9 300 series. It's not been confirmed. People who have this card or have information, they're just saying that currently it's popping up as the Radeon 300 series. So I'm just going to call it the Radeon 300 series or the 380 just for a placeholder name. It could be called, you know, Joe Bob's awesome GPU for all we know when it's finally released. Anyway, speaking about the 290X rebrands specifically, uh, it's going to have the same shader slash ROP layout and all of that jazz. So another 2,816 shaders, blah, blah, blah. The core clock, however, is going to see a small smidgen of a bump. It's going to be bumped from 1,000 to 1,050. Supposedly, most of this is down to TDP, but maybe some manufacturers are going to push the envelope a little bit more. It's more the VRAM that's the change. Um, it's going from 4 gigs to 8 gigs. So basically it's double, and specifically the actual core clocks have also raised as well. So it's going to be 1250 megahertz currently to 1500 megahertz for the, for the rebrand. So that's going to provide around 384 gigabytes per second, once again assuming that either the manufacturer or yourself does not overclock. It's kind of nice, obviously it's still on the 512-bit bus. No high bandwidth memory for you. And the 290... Um, Hawaii Pro is going to also get rebranded, same amount of shaders as currently 2560. The core clock is going to be raised around 50 megahertz as well, so it's going to be 1010. But the memory configurations are going to be as above, so pretty much 8 gigabytes GDDR5 running at 1500 megahertz on a 512 bit bus. Kind of cool, right? Um, I'm not going to lie to you, as a tech whore, in other words, myself, I'm not super interested in rebrands, I never have been. Rebrands have been part of GPUs for a long ass time, I mean, one of the more famous ones of course was the MX series from uh, Nvidia back in the day, but it's not a bad thing, you know, if rebrands are for purposes, um, but, you know, I guess there's going to be small changes, obviously there's going to be a small performance bump with the core clocks and obviously you're going to get a core, so a memory bump as well. How much extra difference that's going to make, maybe 5-10%, I'm just guessing, I'm basing that on nothing other than pulling numbers out of my ass and from benchmarking the R9290X and playing around with its clocks, but once again it will depend on are there any architecture changes, what applications are you running, what settings are you running? Are you, for example, doing downsampling? Are you running at 4K? Um, obviously, a ridiculous example is if you're running at 640 by 480, core clocks are going to make and memory clocks are going to make no difference. On the other hand, if you're running at 4K and your memory bandwidth limited, and which case, you know, the memory clocks are going to make more of difference. On the other hand, you know, if core is more of the problem and blah blah blah. 
But either way, it's nice. The price is really where I'm concerned, or not concerned, but the price is really where it comes into for me. Obviously, the higher clocked memory might push up the price a little bit. What I'd like is for it to be pretty much in the same ballpark as the current GPUs, and I was not to be that much more expensive because otherwise it's kind of getting into the what's the point territory. Um, obviously, you do have the extra memory and extra memory bandwidth, but let's say, I'm, obviously, I'm pulling numbers out of my ass. This is not confirmed. This is not even a rumor. This is just literally me pulling a number out of thin air. Let's assume that the R9 290X is like £240 when the uh, 300 series comes out, but the other one's like 340 the rebrands, then you might not necessarily think to yourself, hmm, 10% performance, obviously, depending how it benches, is going to be worth it. On the other hand, if it's priced competitively and the other cards are phased out, and maybe there's some changes to the cooler, maybe it overclocks a little bit better, maybe there's some slight changes to the architecture, what have you, then yeah, I can see it being a nice upgrade path. Not necessarily for those of us who own a 290X, but for those of us who own a lower end card. So for example, you own a 280, then you might want to upgrade. Or let's say you own a 600 series or a Radeon 7850 or something along those lines, then maybe, you know, you'd be okay. If you're in for the bleeding edge, however, uh, and you've got the money behind you, then obviously you're probably not interested in these rebrands, you're probably interested in the HPM cards, which are obviously going to be the higher end cards in the uh, 300 series, we're assuming they're going to be called the 390, but more specifically the 390X uh, is the one that's rumoured to have HPM, but obviously I am guessing, because the AMD once again have not given us official confirmation on the names, in fact... The only name that we've even, well, even the hint officially AMD have even used for Fiji, um, outside of a couple of slides here and there, or murmurs on the roadmap, as far as I'm aware anyway, is actually the CEO um, to actually have Fiji branded water um, in their investments, investor conference a couple of days ago, but that doesn't necessarily mean much. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Been a bit rambly, but there you have it. Take care. Bye for now.